It's one thing to dominate as a professional sports team during a certain time period, but it basically means nothing if you don't win championships. We've seen teams like the 2007 and 11 New York Giants win the Super Bowl, even though they only make the playoffs every few years. But how many powerhouse NFL teams never won a Super Bowl despite years of consistency? A lot. It's not just in the NFL, but in all sports. I'm Justin Fraction, and today we take a look at 10 teams that were great at the wrong time. And we do hope you enjoy this video, and if you do, feel free to click subscribe down below for more cool videos every single day. Number 10, 1993-99, Orlando Magic The Magic were one of the NBA's most dominant units of the 90s, led by superstars Nick Anderson, Shaquille O'Neal, Horace Brandt, and Brian Shaw. They had all the talent in the world to be a dynasty. Unfortunately, this was a team that had to deal with the Chicago Bulls dynasty, led by Michael Jordan. The Bulls swept them in the 1996 Eastern Conference Finals. And as for their trip to the 1994 NBA Finals against the Houston Rockets, they got swept because Hakeem Olajuwon and Robert Horry were too good. The Magic never won a title with this core because the other super teams were more super. Number 9, 90s Atlanta Braves. We probably shouldn't put the Braves on here since they did win the 1995 World Series, but this team dominated for far too long and they should have had more than one championship. This team had the deadly duo of Andrew and Chipper Jones. They had the lethal trio of Greg Maddox and Tom Glavin, and John Smoltz as their pitchers. Unfortunately for the Braves, there was plenty of parity in the National League. Plus, the New York Yankees built a dynasty by beating Atlanta in the 1996 and 99 World Series. In just about any other decade, the Braves could have been a dynasty, but the 90s was one tough decade for MLB teams to win multiple championships. Number 8, 1999 to 2004, Toronto Maple Leafs. The Maple Leafs haven't reached the Stanley Cup final nor won it since 1967. If there was a chance for them to do it, it was the late 90s and early 2000s. This team was filled with generational hockey players, namely Matt Sundin. Oh, but they even had the perfect pest in Ty Domi. And hey, wasn't Gary Roberts pretty good too? Oh yeah. Except the Martin Brodeur led New Jersey Devils brush Toronto aside in the 2000 and 2001 playoffs. They also fell victim to the juggernaut Philadelphia Flyers in 2003 and 4. There were just too many good teams in the East that the Leafs never managed to get through them to reach the Stanley Cup Finals. Number 7, 70s Minnesota Vikings. This team had the legendary Fran Tarkenton at quarterback, but were also carried by the iconic Purple People Eaters defense led by Jim Marshall, Alan Page, Carl Eller, and Gary Larson. The Vikings were eliminated by the Dallas Cowboys three times in the 70s. They also lost a trio of Super Bowls, one to each of the Dolphins, Steelers, and Raiders. Again, too much parody. Minnesota was great, but they always ran into a better team every year and never got over the top. Number 6, 90s Utah Jazz. The Jazz made the playoffs every year from 1984 to 2003. That was thanks to the dominant duo of John Stockton and Carl Malone. The 90s were Utah's best years, but the Portland Trail Blazers ended their season in 1991, 92, and 99. They also lost to the Chicago Bulls in the 97 and 98 NBA Finals because Michael Jordan was so good. But like really, don't tell us Malone and Stockton wouldn't have won multiple titles if they got to play together in the 70s, late 2000s, or 2010s. Number 5. 2000s Philadelphia Eagles From 2000 to 2009, the Eagles made the playoffs all but two years. This juggernaut that consisted of Donovan McNabb and Terrell Owens for the most part played in five total NFC championships, but Philly only won one of them. They faced the New England Patriots in Super Bowl 39, but lost 24-21. Kurt Warner's St. Louis Rams eliminated them in 2001 with the greatest show on turf offense. John Gruden's historic Tampa Bay Buccaneers took them out in the 2002 playoffs. The surprising 2003 Carolina Panthers ended their bid for a title, and the Kurt Warner-led Arizona Cardinals beat them in the 2008 NFC Championship. In other words, this Philly team was great, but not great enough to win during their time. Number 4. 2000's Phoenix Suns You had two-time MVP Steve Nash and four-time All-Star Sean Marion, and perennial superstar Amari Stoudemire. Too bad the San Antonio Spurs, led by Tim Duncan, ended their season in 2003, 5, 7, and 8. And too bad the Los Angeles Lakers ended their bid for a title in 2010 as well. Sorry, Phoenix, but it's tough to win when the Spurs and Lakers dynasties are in your way. Number 3. 1980s Denver Broncos When John Elway takes you to three Super Bowls in a four-year gap and you lose all of them, it's just a sign of how tough the NFL is. Lawrence Taylor's New York Giants manhandled the Broncos in one Super Bowl. The Washington Redskins took them apart in another. Joe Montana and the San Francisco 49ers crushed them in another. Always Broncos just never got a break, always having to face the legendary squad in the Super Bowl. At least they won Super Bowls 32 and 33 the following decade. Number 2, 2003-12 Vancouver Canucks The Canucks will not be recognized as a model organization like Chicago, Detroit, or Pittsburgh because they could not finish the job. This team had a pair of bona fide superstars in Marcus Nosland and Todd Bertuzzi. Then Swedish twins Daniel and Henrik Sedin carried the offense while the elite defensive unit was backed by goaltender Roberto Luongo. But Vancouver always had to face better teams that they just couldn't get through. 
The Red Wings, Colorado Avalanche, Blackhawks, and LA Kings were always a step ahead of them. Sure, the Canucks choked under high-pressure situations, but they also just weren't as great as the other great teams of this time. And number one, 1990-1993 Buffalo Bills. The Bills made four straight Super Bowls from 1990-1993. Jim Kelly was one of the league's best passers. Thurman Thomas terrorized defenses with a strong running attack, and receiver Andre Reid was impossible to cover. Buffalo first lost to Lawrence Taylor and the New York Giants in Super Bowl 25. Then they lost Super Bowl 26 to the Washington Redskins' high-powered offense, and they had no answer for the Dallas Cowboys dynasty in the next two Super Bowls. The Bills lost four straight Super Bowls. That's just bad luck. Surely they would have won at least one Super Bowl if they made it four consecutive times in any other four-year span, right? What other sports teams were great at the wrong time? Join us in the comments below. If you liked this video and learned a thing or two, Clicking the like button helps us out a ton and we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to Total Pro Sports though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.